Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain two methods for creating reference line in Katia. One of them is point point method and the second one is point direction method. Now let's start with the point 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 method. First of all, click the line command. The line definition dialog box is displayed. Select the point point line type. And then now we have to select two points. One for the start and one for the end. The second, the first one is for the start, the second one is for the end. You can see the line displayed between these two points. If needed, select the support surface. In this case, a geodesic line is created, going from one point to the other according to the shortest distance along the surface geometry. If no surface is selected, the line is created between the two points based on the shortest distance. Specify the start and end points of the new line. That's the line ending point location in relation to the points initially selected. You can enter any number. Let's try 50. And 50 for the end point. These start and end points are necessarily beyond the selected points, meaning the line cannot be shorter than the distance between the initial points. You can use the mirrored extent to create the line symmetrically in relation to the selected start and end points, but this command only mirror extends the end point uh, to the start point. And if you click OK, the line will be created and is added to the specification tree. The second method is point direction. Click line command again, select the point direction line type, select the reference point and the direction line. A vector parallel to the direction line is displayed at the reference point. Proposed start and end points of the new line are shown. If needed, select the support surface. In this case, a geodesic line is created. The direction of the created line corresponds to the projection of the given direction onto the support. Specify the start and end points of the new line. The corresponding line is displayed. Click OK to create the line. The line is added to the specification tree. Thank you for listening. I'll be covering other methods in the next video. Bye.